The sidewalk on Capitol Hill every single day from the get go has been part of a long path for TK Turner. I guess in 2020 it all came full circle for me. She returns to this space now a changed person. It wasn't about another black man dying at the hands of the police. It was just the last straw and systematic old person that I think we were willing to take at that time. Turner led the original 2020 protest at Capitol Hill. To me, it was the sentiment of, hey, black people are being murdered in the streets by people in position of power that are supposed to protect those same people they're murdering. How do we change this? What was the goal in your mind? I feel like that's what the goal was as far as for people to be heard, for those who are systematically affected by that issue to be heard, right? Yet as the situation devolved <laughs> and the chop took hold, Turner says now her voice was drowned out here. My opinion, it was Coachella. Do you feel like your message, the reason why you were here protesting, was hijacked? Absolutely, 100%. Turner also says those widely panned police crowd control measures <laughs> combined with opportunistic bad actors. What they have done is made it more dangerous. It's more likely now you will get shot. Twisted the conversation. What do you think of the police and the, the mayor's response here? I mean, clearly neither one of them are in those same positions anymore now, right? She gave everybody out her word, oh, we won't get tear gas for 30 days. That same night, we were getting tear gas. So it's like, well, you can't trust the people who give you, who are supposed to protect you. It creates a bigger divide. You guys are burning bridges instead of building and creating new bridges for us all to cross and coexist together, right? But TK kept walking. You ain't got to tear the city up to get our point across. And walking. You're going to get back up and go further than where it knocked you down in the first place. So that when you get to that next knockdown, you understand that you can get back up and keep going. She left the chop and somewhere along the way felt energized. The impact this had on me has made me realize like how precious life really is. The everyday march, as it was called, later highlighted at Seattle's Museum of History and Industry, prompted police reforms, millions for community resources, and a Black Lives Matter mural that has been preserved on Capitol Hill, a testament to the effort. It also changed her personal trajectory. Hey, you were talking about this is a full circle moment. For yeah, you. I realized for me it was more so about the future generations. You know, my mom struggled raising me and my siblings on our own, you know. I made my own mistakes in life, decided to run the streets and be a gang member and all those types of different things, right? I didn't have a clear path. If somebody was to ask me, well, what do you want to, like, when you get older, you go to college and you go to school, what do you want to go to school for? My first thought was always political science and marine biology. I ended up at Seattle Central the following year, getting my diploma and then enrolling in politi for political science with an emphasis on social justice to get a degree. Turner may have come for the protests, but now looks at this spot still as an inspiration. I feel like it's my responsibility to step up for the next generation. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, Como News.